This is a huge step in the medical field. I have so many metastases in my liver that it can't be operable. And tomorrow, I'm going to have the histotripsy treatment here in LA. Hello, my fellow high-tech fans. My name is Céline. I'm a TV journalist and a tech specialist. It's very funny because I only do video on tech, like the new phones, the new gimbals, the new light for a studio. But it's still, I mean, we're talking about technology here, right? I want to make this video because I want to share my experience because I'm sure that some of you who have, and I'm sorry for that, metastatic cancer, um, any, any type of cancer, uh, you would want to make sure you get rid of those metastases without getting uh, risk or too much pain like surgeries and here I'm going to talk about the histotripsy treatment which is a device that can get rid of the metastasis with ultrasound. No surgeries, not getting into your body, no weakening your body. They put a device on your stomach and they send ultrasound at uh, the exact spot where your tumors are or is if you have only one tumor and they will get rid of it and you can come back again and again and again because they cannot get rid of all of the metastases at once if you have a lot of them but you can come back i mean i'm talking about metastases but we can if you have just a primary tumor in the liver they can get rid of it metastatic um, cancer is a chronic disease we, you cannot live without taking a systemic uh, medication but this will allow me to live longer, maybe have metastasis growing on my liver and nowhere else for several years. And then I can come back whenever I have the money. <laughs> I can come back for another treatment, a histotripsy treatment, if it works well. I live in Belgium and in Europe, you don't have that treatment yet. It was FDA approved in October 2023 and we are in August 2024. So since October 2023, more and more hospitals in the US have this device, which is great. So I started calling different hospitals from the East Coast to the West Coast. So I started on the East Coast and some of the uh, radiologists were talking about getting rid of one metastasis and well it's great I, I mean i'm not unhappy about it but i have 10 metastases that we can see on my liver so getting rid of one metastasis is great but i would prefer to that they you know take out more of the metastasis i called los angeles and i had a zoom meeting with uh, dr abbas and dr burns dr abbas is a surgeon dr burns is a radiologist it's amazing how easy it will be to take out small uh, tumors. Uh, how long does it take to take a, a tumor out? Sure, so I'll say the hardest part is actually finding the tumor. So once we find the tumor, it uh, probably takes about 10 minutes to do all the planning for it. And then small tumors can take anywhere from, I don't know, five minutes up to maybe 30 minutes. It all depends on kind of size of the tumor, depth, and there's a lot of kind of physics, technical factors that go into it. Um, but the, the times have decreased a lot recently because there's been some software updates that have made the machine a little bit more efficient. Okay, and par par paradoxically, it's uh, harder to take out tumors that are close to the skin? Yeah, so the closer it is to the skin, the more uh, cooling time has to happen. So this treatment is non-thermal, but if it's uh, close to the skin, there can be some thermal or heat injury to the skin. So the machine has to turn on and off very frequently. Mm -hmm. So a deeper tumor, it can stay on the entire time, which makes the treatment faster. But if it has to turn on and off, it can double the treatment time, basically, because there's more time where it's just sitting there doing nothing. Most people who want to come to see you, I, I believe they want you to get rid of the bigger metastasis. What is your answer? Uh, so it's, every patient's going to be different, but um, bigger tumors are going to be harder to treat completely. And so we may choose one that's more likely to cause damage to something. So say something's pushing on a on a bile duct or a vein or an artery, maybe that would be the one that we would target in order to shrink something. Um, 
it's easier to completely treat small tumors. So if a tumor is, you know, two centimeters, it's easy to easily to more easy to completely encompass the tumor to take it out. But if a tumor is, you know, five centimeters, it's gonna be much harder to completely treat the tumor. Mm -hmm. And so we may choose to completely treat smaller ones and you may get partial treatments on bigger ones, at least to start shrinking them down. Okay. Procedure could be repeated though in the future. So uh, we have many patients who have come for multiple sessions because they have many tumors and we go after them kind of in order. That's great, there's no limit. There's no limit, it just depends on how your liver function is doing. We haven't seen much damage to people's livers from this procedure, which is beneficial. So um, people tolerate this very well as far as not going and not having liver problems after this procedure. Because it's the only procedure for people who have inoperable um, tumors in the liver, right? So there, there's a lot of procedures we can do. This one is non-invasive, so that makes it different because we're not putting needles catheters or anything else inside of you. So this would be more similar to getting radiation therapy mm -hmm. um, where not everything's entering through the skin, but this is generally a one-time procedure to treat the liver tumors. You are under anesthesia for this procedure. So we put you completely to sleep, mainly to make sure you don't move and to make sure that we can control how your liver moves um, kind of on the inside. When they first received the device, they are had courses to, to understand how to use the device. And the courses they had was for patients laying on their back. But if you have a metastasis like me behind my stomach on the right side of the liver, the device needs to get through the stomach to aim the metastasis on the liver, which is more complicated. Uh, now that they have experimented on patients, they know how to aim it by simply turning the patient on the side and getting through, getting to the metastasis through the ribs. Yeah, so at the beginning we uh, were really treating just uh, from the front. Uh, now we're putting people on the side, treating through the rib cage. We've even treated the patient upside down to get to the back of the liver. So um, we're kind of expanding uh, how, we're, how we're doing this procedure. We're much more aggressive than we were at the beginning, going after tougher tumors. Uh, at the beginning it was very hard to treat the top of the liver. It's still, it's still very hard but we've now treated every segment. So the liver has multiple segments. It's just how it's divided in location. So we've now treated every segment in the liver, where at the beginning, we, some of the segments were much harder to treat, but now that we can treat through the rib cage, put people on their side, some of those lesions are possible to be treated. And with all the experience you have, how do you feel about um, this treatment? Yeah, I think it's very, very promising for local control, meaning if, if we have a tumor that we can completely encompass, and completely treat. I think it's going to be comparable to all the other um, ablation modalities, um, but this is non-invasive and we're seeing pretty minimal side effects with patients. So uh, most patients leave that day of the procedure. Some patients don't think anything happened to them. Some have very, very mild pain, but every, everyone is different, of course. Um, and so it's a very well tolerated treatment. Um, we're also seeing on follow-up imaging that the tumors get smaller much faster uh, than compared to other treatments. So it may be easier to follow people in the future to make sure that the tumor is completely going away. Okay. There's another thing you need to know. They do general anesthesia so that you don't absolutely don't move when they do the treatment. They, they do general anesthesia and when you wake up, you have side effects more of the general anesthesia than the histotripsy. But you can have liver pain uh, and then you have uh, overall um, flu symptoms, uh, side effects fever, you know, feeling a little tired and pain, muscle pain everywhere. And some of them, some of the patients uh, just go out uh, without feeling anything, not even dizziness due to the general anesthesia. So the procedure went well. Um, I woke up, uh, they woke me up around 1, 1 p.m. I was, I was so tired. I really wanted to sleep, but they, they wanted to wake me up from the anesthesia and to, you know, check if I was doing well. I was so tired. Um, so the anesthe anesthesist told me before the procedure that he will put um, a wider tube than standard ones uh, in order to control uh, both uh, lungs. And maybe I would feel a little bit, um, uh, not painful, but you know, some like I will cough sometimes and it will be irritated, which it, it is, but not, not that much. I mean, I'm just coughing from time to time, but other than that, I'm good. Um, uh, anesthes the anesthesia was uh, very hard on me, like always. I'm always like that. I do throw up 
So of course, as, as soon as I open one eye and I tried to sit, I felt dizzy and then I threw up. Um, but it, it didn't last long because um, fortunately, I received an anti-nausea uh, medication through IV. I also have one underneath my ear. I don't know if you see it. It's a patch. The good news from uh, Dr. Burns it's, is that he took out four, four of the metastases, three small ones. So he took the margin out too, so they are absolutely out. The, the fourth one is the biggest one that, that is just behind my stomach. And so he, he aimed he aimed the bigger one a little bit. Of course, it's not, it, it won't disappear, but who knows, maybe my immune system can work a little bit and uh, destroy um, a part or the rest or fragilize this big metastasis on, on the, underneath my, my stomach. Overall, I'm very happy. I feel really good. I mean, I didn't have any surgery. I can, I can you know, get dressed and, and go back to my hotel and have a good night of rest. Um, it's been a very positive uh, experience. The nurses here are amazing. Uh, there was uh, two nurses who started at 6 a.m. One is still here and the other one just left an hour ago. These are very long shifts. And, and the team, I mean, everyone was really nice. Sense of humor, they, they, were, they were really nice and smiling and, and positive and that's all what I was looking for. It's all that I need, what I needed. days since I had the histotripsy treatment so far so good let's say that the first seven days of uh, post treatment was a little bit hard I mean not that hard I went um, tree climbing I went to the I mean I went to Lake Tahoe went swimming but let's say that I was tired and I was a easily exhausted. I went to bed early around 9 p.m. I slept all night, which is good. So I really hope by making this video I helped you in any way to understand more about the histotripsy treatment and uh, I hope everything is going to be great for you. I wish you the best of luck.